Hi Pisces, I hope you're all doing well. In today's reading, we'll be looking at whoever you're thinking about for January. Pisces, so this is your compatibility spread. Um, we'll be looking at the person that is on your mind, um, their general energy, um, your physical, intellectual, and emotional compatibility. And then we have um, your current compatibility, um, your long-term potential, and some advice. Um, but let's look at this person's energy. We have Mars here, actions. So they could be Scorpio, Aries, uh, Capricorn, Libra, Taurus here, strong. Doesn't have to be, but uh, that is the energy they are in right now. Um, I'm seeing really nice energy, actually. Someone who's of a high and very high integrity, very fair, logical, balanced within themselves. This person has a lot going for them. Um, with Mars, Action, and Eight of Wands. So um, they're very busy with matters related to the 10th house. So that is our reputation, um, our career, that sort of thing. So practical matters is where their focus is. Um, they could be some sort of authority figure with that Hierophant and the boss here, um, like a lawyer, a judge, something of that sort. But so very much focused on themselves and their reputation um, for your physical compatibility we have a Pluto transformation Queen of Wands to death so beautiful I'm very attracted to one another there's a lot of passion between you both death is Scorpio so that is extreme passion uh, it can be a bit obsessive um, you could feel a bit of uh, codependent sexually on one another um, but Yes, this is a hundred out of ten. That type of very, very much physically compatible. Um, who this person is intellectually, we have eight of swords, judgment, and also for your physical compatibility, this isn't a light and breezy connection. You both really um transform one another. Um, a very deep bond between you both, and sexual e expression is a very, very important to both of you. Um at least uh, together as a couple uh, it's, it's quite significant and a lot of time will be spent a lot of energy will be directed towards that physical sector um who this person is intellectually we have eight of swords judgment it's an overthinker someone who really is can feel a bit stuck at times or this is someone who takes um a lot of time um to make uh, decisions they can be a bit indecisive at times um for your intellectual compatibility we have moon feelings four of wands knight of wands this is beautiful so a strong emotional and physical and intellectual bond uh, this is an amazing reading i think it's one of the best out of the 12 zodiac signs i don't see anything too negative here there's some in the potential outcome but We'll go over that. So, yes, two people that really feel safe and secure to express um, themselves to each other. There's a lot of um, passion, fun um, that you do feel with each other. This can be a lot of back and forth banter, but just two people that enjoy each other's company. Um, things flow well, um, easily with when you are with one another. It's almost as if it's that energy when you don't realize you just enjoy each other's company and time flies by when you're with one another is what I'm trying to say there. Um, who this person is emotionally, um, it's the star, two of wands, um, someone who's quite optimistic at this time, really um, planning for their future, um, quite optimistic, has strong faith, but... Uh, that is what I'm getting, someone who is at a crossroads, though I did see in their intellectual sector that they do have a hard time making a decision. So it could be some sort of decision in regards to their career or their relationship with you, but they are at a crossroads and uh, really looking forward. Um, for your emotional compatibility, we have Mercury, Communication, Scorpio, the Animal, Sun, King of Cups, Eight of Pentacles. A beautiful energy. Um, you both are very much emotionally compatible. There's strong communication here. Um, Scorpio is a water sign, so there's 
a strong um, connection with the mind and the heart. You make each other very happy with the sun card, emotionally very rewarding. Two people that are willing to work on this. Um, this is equal give and take. Um, but sometimes things can be a bit intense. Um, if someone feel is King of Cups, Scorpio, that is um, sometimes can be controlling behavior or jealousy, possessiveness. But uh, I'm not seeing this in a toxic manner as I did in some of the other readings. This is a more protective energy. One feels very um, protective over the other is what I'm getting here. Um, your current compatibility, we have fourth house roots, king of pentacles, two of pentacles, a very stable, secure energy. Um, I do see that one or both of you have a lot of responsibilities. Um, your energy may be in other sectors of your life, um, finances, your career as well. They are very career focused. And king of pentacles is usually a businessman, businesswoman. Two of pentacles talk about someone juggling many things at once. They had that eight of wands in their in their energy so very busy so it could be that both of you are quite busy um you both are planning for the future and wanting to um, build something of value together because this is your uh, collective energy you as a couple but it can also be if you're not together um right now um that you both are just focused on your security separately um, for your long-term potential, we have Venus, 5th house, Temperance, 10 of swords, 7 of swords, 4 of cups. Sometimes things can get a bit overwhelming. There's a lot of love and passion here with Venus, 5th house. That talks about a very playful connection. I have that in your intellectual compatibility as well. Um, but with Mars square Pluto, with your astrology cards here as well, um, sometimes... Um, your emotions can be a bit overwhelming. Um, there's this very strong physical uh, attraction, but sometimes one of you can be stubborn and unwilling to compromise. Um, that is a negative here. Um, and sometimes you both clash or you're headed in two different directions. But we also have Moon in seventh house. This talks about acceptance, someone, two people that flow well together, long term, secure emotional stability. So yes, we talked about that in your reading. Um, a very stable connection. But if this is, if you're asking about someone you know intuitively as a player, or they're sneaking around, this is not that person. Regardless, your outcome is beautiful. This could be a person that is entering your life if you feel your past person was um, untrustworthy because who this person is and their energy is someone of very high morals and values, someone who does the right thing, a very honest, um, traditional, that type of energy. And the overall reading is very powerful. So I'm almost seeing that either you or this person that is showing up in your energy, there's some healing that needs to be done with temperance. And both of you can work together to get past any of these issues. I'm not necessarily seeing Seven of Swords as cheating, but I'm seeing um, more so avoiding. There's some emotional issues that need to be uh, worked on. Um, so yeah, each, every relationship has its challenges, but uh, yours so far is one of the most positive readings. For your advice, we have Spirit Guides. So pay attention to your dreams as your spirit guides are trying to communicate with you. Let them know you are open to receiving their messages. So yes, your guides or um, spirit or whatever you believe in is um, trying to speak to you. So do listen to your intuition uh, for further guidance if you're unsure. Um, and yes, really try to quiet that mind so you can get all the messages that are coming to you at this time. But that is what I have for you, Pisces. Hopefully this was helpful. Take care of yourself and I will see you later. Bye.